Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sasa says, how you doing? Today, we're doing another cigar review. Less excited because the cigar is big. There we go. We're doing the La Aurora Ordage 2018. My hands shaking. I had too much caffeine today, but the cigar is sent over by Eric Smoke One Fan One. I believe he did have a review on the cigar already. And today I will give you my honest review on this particular cigar. Uh, this cigar is not cheap, 20 bucks. Big, big cigar. Uh, this is a Toro Gordo. And I believe they come in like six different sizes. It's ridiculously. Yeah, this, why? Why? Like this cigar makes other cigars tiny. Okay, this cigar makes other cigars tiny. For example. I don't know if it makes like this is a Toro, okay, or Bel Belicoso. And Belicoso looks tiny on, on compared to this one, okay? I don't know if, if that looks that way in the camera, but in my hand it does, all right? So, substance cigar, very oily in my hand too. It's like giving my hands oil. But take a good look at the cigar. La Arola or Darge 2018. This particular one comes in Toro Gordo, which is 6x54. MSRP is $20 back in 2018. The wrapper is Ecuadorian, binder is Ecuadorian, and filler is Colombia, Dominican, and Nicaraguan. Cigar itself, very oily, very shiny, very textured, and very big cigar. But we will smoke through it and give you the best not best but i review so i get started all right so with the most enthusiasm let's smell the cigar okay um smells like old wooden drawer yeah like fermented or old wooden drawers. Okay. Oh. Wow, that's bitter. What the hell was that? Cut a very small amount of cap off because I have a feeling that it's gonna be clogged or something like that. Oh. A slightly bitter old drawer stink. Tastes like something's rotten. Like imagine you enter a house that's been abandoned for like 20, 30 years. And you enter this room that's extremely humid and smells like old wood and everything. It doesn't like it doesn't have to be not not clean. But they just have some of those really like 19, 1800s old Victorian style drawer, and you found a a wardrobe. And you open it up and go. That's what it tastes like. Oh yeah, wow. Well, yeah, the the yeah the cold draw doesn't taste good. Does not taste good at all. Does not taste good at all. What was that? All right, let's light it up. It tastes a little bit pepper just now, but uh, that does not taste good. All right, let's try to light this up. 
All right, this. Ooh, no, nope, smell, smell like something's rotten too. As it was woodsy, and until that, that with oh, it doesn't smell good. Now it smells char and burnt. And yeah, I'm not even nah. Ah. All right, there's some bitterness, there's some woodsiness, and there's some pepper. Why is so bitter? What? It tastes very leafy, like a leaf, like a dry leaf. Woodsiness, dry leaf, some sort of end leftover sourness. It tastes like a abandoned leaf that has been sitting on the ground for a couple seasons. Let's hope that's just the beginning and changes because right now it doesn't taste good. If it wasn't reviewing this, I might put it down. What was that taste? It burns funny too. All right, let me smoke one third. I'll be right back. All right. <clears throat> well, first of all, Odaj means beyond aged, right? Extra age, beyond aged. This cigar tastes like beyond age. It tastes like my grandpa. This thing tastes like old barrel, charred wood being burnt, um, with a little bit hint of maybe vanilla. It's kind of nasty. Wooden barrel, vanilla, but that charred burn wood taste is just ah i mean it's getting better I mean, that vanilla is getting stronger but that wood taste doesn't taste that good i don't know how to describe it, it dries up your mouth about medium strength why am i smoking the cigar all right tap off the ash It's getting sweeter. It almost tastes like there's a little bit berry to it, to that vanilla. But that wood. Nobody likes the wood. But that wood. Um, hopefully it changes up a little bit. Right now, it's not very good. We'll see. Be right back. All right. Second, third. I'm smoking this. And I really did not like it. I'm talking to Ira, it's like, yeah, he's like, what are you recording? I was like, I'm recording a review for this Ordage Party 18. He just stopped laughing. He just start laughing. I was like, ah, shit. So I guess he knows what this is about. And I smoked it. Second, third, still medium. Tastes like a burnt wood, old leaf French barrel. So think of somebody left the bar like a barrel of like a, some sort of alcohol, I don't know, bourbon or something, bourbon oak barrel or something like that. They used it a few times, they charred it a few times, they burned it a few times, and they left it there for, I don't know, 15 years, 20 years, and didn't touch it. And then uh, somebody went to that factory, found a barrel, and decided to burn it. While they're burning it with a smoke comes on the face. That's probably how it is. It's a little bit berry-like. It's There's some sweetness to it. But the wood just tastes old, tastes aged. And overall, the taste is, I think for most people, it will be acceptable. It will be, it will be very upset, uh, acceptable. But for me, 
it just tastes weird. Right? It's acceptable, but it's weird. Like I can't enjoy that berry flavor. I can't enjoy that little bit of vanilla. I can't enjoy just the wood. I have to take that oldness to it. And that oldness wasn't a plant that wasn't a pleasant oldness. It's just old. That's what I'm getting right now. So yeah. I, I'm not enjoying it too much right now, but there's a review. We will finish it. We will finish it because that's the mission. That's the mission. Okay. That's the mission. The mission is to finish all the cigar, even if I don't like it, give an honest opinion about it and call it a day. Here's the band. Now, the band looks great. And I think I'm deceived by this band because the band looks great. You think it's a good cigar. You know, with all the like, you know, monogram here, you know, two, two, uh, you know, flat and shiny gold, nicely printed, almost look like a double band stack. Everything's good about this band. You know, it, it, it really is a classy design, stuff like that. Cigar. Oof. All right. Laster, be right back. All right. Finally done. Last third. It's kind of sweet and it's still woodsy and almost trying to be a like a chocolatey taste, but it never got there, never gets there. It dries out your mouth. It's tough to smoke. I I I can only see a selective people that will like this. Normal people probably mm, I'm gonna say if you smoke for more than four years, you're probably not gonna like it. If you smoke less than that, you might like it. Uh, because you might not think that woodsiness was bothering you. But that woodsiness, that weird old oaky fermented leaf barrel thing just doesn't taste that good. Especially for a $20 cigar. Yeah, it's trying to be sweet. It's trying to be like chocolatey. But it never gets there. It, it really never gets there. You can tell that this that has a hint of that, but it's not get it's not getting there. Yeah. Now um I cannot recommend a cigar for twenty dollars really. Even at regular price, that's twenty dollars. Even I my opinion of the cigar, I think this cigar is worth about with the size, probably nine dollars at most. Nine dollars with the size. Other than that, I, I don't really see a I don't see this cigar being very good. I mean, they have other cigars that are good, but this cigar really is not that good. I didn't enjoy it. I don't. I don't think there is any merit for that kind of woodsiness. Um, I like woods. I like. I like certain woodsiness. Just not like old woodsiness. You know, it tastes tastes like a, like I said, like a leaf that got left for a long time, or a drawer that hasn't been open for like twenty years, and you open up that smell. I, I don't like that. Some people might like it. Some people might have nostalgic thinking to it because they have that one of those wardrobe at home, open it up, smell it, and say, hey, it's my grandpa. You know, uh, but for me, I didn't enjoy it. And it takes a bit to smoke it. The strain wasn't, wasn't very strong. It's median. And it, at times, I would even say it's mild. It's not it's not bothering me. It doesn't it doesn't do anything. But I, I because, it's not because it doesn't do anything. It's because it constantly have that taste that I didn't like. And some people might not even taste it. I taste it, so I didn't enjoy it. So that's pretty much it. All right. So that will be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. If you save your money by not buying this, let me know as well. And I will see you guys in the other reviews. Hopefully see you in the comments. Make sure to check out our um, podcast, swag, and membership. Yep. And hopefully I need to smoke some better cigars. So. People have been saying that, oh, Tony's been really soft on cigars. You said you, you did a few good reviews on, on like, you know, cigars. And now, now I do some bad reviews and I think somebody like, oh, Tony is on top of the game. See you guys next time. Bye, guys.